Hey folks, how are you? I'm a beautiful day again. Let's meet. And I'm going to tell you why we need Python, basically. So, why, why there's a lot of place building up for this particular programming language? So, what is basically Python, which you have seen in the for, for other videos of our gangboard.com? But I'm going to tell you, why do we need, basically, why do we need Python? So, Python, as we all know, it's an interpreted programming language, or we can broadly say it's a scripting language. Python does not follow any of the syntax rules. It's very, very, very loosely typed. It's called as a dynamically typed programming language. It's because of the freedom it's going to give you and the way you can use it to like uh, fulfill your needs in any of the domain wherever you are. So why do we need Python especially? It's because of the syntax. It's very simple. And every single guy who has not been a pro coder or who has not much exposure, has not got much exposure to computer programming, is can step in and learn this programming language with very ease and comfort because if you are just good at the very basics of English language all the keywords whatever you use in Python is just to go just simply to follow what has been used in English programming language the keywords are same as like English it's like when some it's when two of you are interacting how to do this put it in a for loop and just print it ten times the way that's how the same way Python works you just put it in a for loop and just print it just two lines of code However, you talk or explain to people in English language, the same you're going to implement in the editor and it, when you compile and run it, it's going to give you the result. That is the power of Python. So, why do we? See, we have a lot of programming languages like Java, C, C++, everything which is more powerful than Python. But why does especially Python is considered more trending than these programming languages? Of course, the demand for C and C++ over the decade has been kept stagnant, which has not been moved anywhere at all. It has been kept extremely stable. But now the breakthrough in the industry, in the computer industry is Python 3, Python 3 version because it has been continuously evolved from 2 to 3x versions. We currently have 3.4 in market, 3.5 in market, everything which is every single version of Python is power packed and it's coming with n number of capabilities. That's what we are going to talk about. Why do we need Python for data science? Why not any other programming languages like Java, C, C++? It's because of the inbuilt library and the power of the library is what we have inside because our higher objective is to solve the major problem, not the burden of your programming language. That is where Python itself is flamboyant, very attractive, and it's going to stand out in the market saying that I am an extremely very easy and uh, highly uh, user-friendly programming language, which you can use me for achieving your needs with less concerns and less worries. That's what the Python promise to all the programmers. That's why it's been widely used in the data science where your concern is to solve the major real world problem, not a programming component. The same way in artificial intelligence, if you choose, the amount of the libraries which has been packed into the algorithms, every Python has inbuilt sort features which uses Tim Sort's algorithm, which is the implementation of the world's fastest algorithm, n log n. It, it's giving you power in each and every step of its implementation. The simplicity, the number of lines, and the way you can easily maintain the code, which makes the favorite, which makes the programmers to decide between other programming languages. And this has always been said as the most favorite programming languages by all the beginners, especially the graduates and the one who are in the industry because of the fully loaded applications. And considering the whole thing, what, what are all the things Python can do? Uh, intern, I can ask you what are the things Python cannot do. <laughs> right from artificial intelligence, a user interface design of a window using a tick inter library or much more and using a database connectivity, you can run it to any DB using Python. It's your free, uh, one, you have the freedom of code here. And then you can use it for development, like you do system programming using C. You can you do system programming or application or software development using C. And with the help of something called as Kiwi, you can even develop Android applications using Python. It's the same the replica of your Android Studio, how it is being used by Google. Kiwi helps you to build Android applications. And main, most probably nowadays, Python development is not being such a wave in the industry. But Python, with the help of its testing framework called as PyTest and so many other inbuilt functions, with the support of selling even everything, Python gives you immense freedom on testing the end-to-end -end feature of any application with the proper debugging and logging techniques. Everything is completely power packed with the help of your Python PyTest module. And then talking about machine learning, Python is still a very big leader in machine learning because of its ability to process and interpret data in a very technical and intelligent manner. And not only that, Python is very well versed and Python is extremely strong and powerful. That's because Python is simple. Anything which is simple will always be powerful and great. For more videos like this, 
Go to gangboard.com, visit our YouTube channel, subscribe for alerts. Thank you so much.